Well, hello everybody. Crusty old coat, back again on a thrifty Thursday. Gonna do a Crow's Customs Pen. Cause, uh, you know I like playing with my music and can see and if I can just get away with just enough. Well, speaking of getting away with just enough, I've gotten away with enough suspense on these stupid boats I've been building. Yesterday I showed you that Tiger Force boat, the, uh, the River Tiger. And I introduced you to a cutter that was never meant for that boat because he wasn't a Tiger Force variant of cutter or anything. Nor did I really make uh, a, a sufficient Night Force cutter. But he's more Night Force than he is uh, Tiger Force. And so while I look at this here bullfrog staring at my Joe, dare him to try. Um, i just going to remind you, that one, uh, I was happy with the response, guys. Thanks very much. That was some very kind words coming out of some of these conversions of late. Now, as you know, I am trying to mix things up with my channel between doing figure v uh, reviews of actual G.I. Joe classified or retro figures or other figures that pique my interest. Uh, I also like to do background uh, development stuff for, for scenes and things like that. A lot of customs with vehicles, terrain, and figures. All that sort of stuff is the kind of stuff you find when I'm doing a TCCC, uh, Crow's Customs Corner. But the tactical perspective is me talking about the G.I. Joe line, the figure, the kit that they're bringing, the representation, the intent, whether they succeeded in matching that military specialty with the modernization that they were trying to do or fell flat on their face as I saw it. That is another thing I bring to the table, but more than any of that, I like to bring discussion and I like to bring a different perspective to things. And that is really what I've been enjoying lately. Like I said, I've gotten to talk to guys like Punk, Chad, Aaron, Down South, uh, all sorts of guys. And I just really value the discussion. Matt Matson and JLS, uh, Payne, Tony's Figs, all these other guys, uh, Legend Series. These are guys uh, whose opinions and, and perspectives I value and I want to learn more about how they see the world just as much as I like to share how much I see mine. Speaking of mine, I think it's time that I show off mine a little bit and uh, take you to the scene, as it were. And if you like these scenes, don't forget that like, share, subscribe. It's more important to the algorithm than it is to me, but man, it is important to me. You're important to me. I like having you guys on board. This is my little squadron. I want to turn it into an entire regiment of crow-like mind people. Anyways, I'll take you over and we'll watch now as that range viper managed to link up uh, with the televiper. Yesterday we met that range viper spying on Tiger Force. Well, he's moved on down the river, and it's a couple days later he's linked up with a techno viper, wondering what uh, what areas they can exploit the the Joe probing of the area, only to find that they're being probed once more by another Joe unit. Let's go find out which unit that is. I mean, on a day like this, with a view like this here in the backwoods area of Ottawa, just a few minutes drive from my house. I really can't find reasons to complain. But you know who can? Cobra. As uh, the Range Viper managed to buckle onto a farmhouse and uh, he was gonna make his getaway via a little uh, Cobra Sea Claw, but uh, that's been discovered by the Joes. So maybe because he did such a poor job camouflaging it earlier, but sure enough, Shipwreck is standing sentry, ready to hand it over to the uh, Night Force assets uh, as they've tracked these guys down. And they're pretty sure they're in this air farmhouse. Somewhere in there, there's a range viper waiting to get busted out. Ah, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, sure enough. He's realizing he's in Scrooville population two with the techno viper as uh, it seems they underestimated the ability of night force to get into this region as they look out and they see the landing happening. And they know they're kind of screwed right now. Oh, maybe it's a bit self-serving to show Wolf Spider, Parth Varma, alongside my uh, my custom fire team partner for him, Variable, in that little <laughs> cheap little hovercraft. But they're part of the landing party. They're gonna go secure that uh, that underwater claw, sea claw there, take over from shipwreck. But meanwhile, the seals are on the ground, the Joe seals. So we have a McFarlane uh, military line that I have. Oh had kicking around it works well with my seals there's the other one standing in the water i don't mind getting those guys wet and dirty and we got torpedo on he's uh he's docking out jumping off and of course you got 
I'm glad you guys like the wetsuit. Thank you very much for the comments on the wetsuit. And there he is on his skid. And he's uh, got his kit. They all loaded up their kit onto this here Night Force boat. And that's the one Cutter's more at home with. So when I built this, this is a Fisher Price boat again. I think it's Rescue, Rescue Heroes. It has uh, two modes uh, for those skids down and up. It's supposed to represent a hydrofoil. It doesn't give it any elevation. And quite honestly, it was damaged when I bought it because it was a thrift store find. So I kind of glued the skiffs into place. I can still operate them, but it puts a stress on the thing. So I added in a bunch of parts, like everything in black that you see on the front is stuff that I had to add to define a cabin. It had no steering controls. It just had a, a hokey little chair for the character to sit in and then it was open. So I closed her all off and gave it a couple of little nine mil mini guns, just something little shoot to punch up, uh, punch up uh, like other boats, hulls, nothing, nothing armor piercing. It's a, it's a, it's a fast attack, kind of land them and get them off kind of boat. And uh, there you have it, guys. And then we put that sensor array with pieces of, uh, I, it's part of a car's uh, internal electronics array, that, that black plug looking thing that turned into antennas. I found it in a parking lot and said, it looks like boat antennas. And so I kept it. Uh, we got the dish, I added the dish on there. I just wanted it to have some sort of a kind of comms representation. And then uh, as we go down, Despite my shadow, I think you get enough, enough of a view. Uh, just kept it as simple as I could. Not too many decals, unit IDs, or anything like that. I got some rails on her. I want to mount handles and ropes on there. I just didn't get around to it. And quite honestly, I'm more enthralled with two other vehicles I have on the brink of presentation right now uh, that aren't boats that I really want to show. So I thought I'd just give you guys a glimpse at this one. Uh, and I'll pull it out of the water, put it up on the land, and I'll show you the rest of the function. All right, let's do that. So here it is, guys. Once again, I am looking for names on this boat. Let's put them on this thread. If you've already put them on the live, I'm sorry. I wasn't able to see the comments on the live after it was done. And if you put them on the tiger, uh, the river tiger uh, one, I'll, I'll read them there. But this is where I would like the comments as to what you think this boat should be called. I've got the red sky on there, uh, just because red and black is night force colors. The yellow emblem is more the Joe thing, but I'm not big on these yellow emblems. I think I might replace them, scratch them off, and put something bigger in there. They're just not doing the size right. But this is about as uh, simple as I want it, complicated as I want it at the same time. I, uh, I had to spend more time than I wanted on the bars. But what I point out is I'm going to tell you about an approach I have with this uh, sometimes when I'm doing a conversion. Uh, and because of classified, some figures are easier to manipulate than others. And some of the parallel figures like Valivers have smaller figures or Star Wars or Marvel. And if you're making them cross compatible and you want your vehicles cross compatible, one of the things I, I, I'm kind of settling on is called the incomplete approach which just means there's some things I'm not going to glue down. Maybe I could magnetize, I'm sure, but I'm just not gluing it down. And one example of where this has crept in is on this boat. Uh, there's that feature going on with these handlebars. Uh, you'll see I've got the upper set of handlebars for standing, for when Cutter's standing, and he's, he's bringing the boat in on this quick approach to get the guys off the skids and beetle out. Uh, but if I want them sitting, say it's a it's a more dangerous, uh, high run, high speed, keep down, you can see uh, there's another set of handlebars just down here for when they're seated. Unfortunately, only a handful of my Joe figures actually seat well. In fact, my Valiverse, the one I'm calling Rose, uh, the little black female, she sits in there perfectly. So I almost had her as the pilot of the boat. But of course, I needed a cutter, right? I got to have a cutter, guys. I'm not going to get a hovercraft. I have to have a cutter if I'm going to make some boats. So I've done that. I've crossed some things off my list. I've dealt with my boats. I've given my Joes more support. You'll notice I, uh, I'm not doing a lot of Cobra vehicles. Um, I guess I really am a Joe guy at heart. But Cobra, to me, has a very specific look. And if things don't fit that look, they don't belong with Cobra. Where in Joe, a lot of it is, yeah, make shit up <laughs> because of my end state stuff. So that's the fun of it, right? So there I go. I've made a boat up. And the fun of it really is going and walking at a thrift store, you know, and seeing a, seeing a 
a vehicle on a kid's line toy that you damn well know was between $50 and $100 when they got it. A year later, it ends up at the thrift store because they outgrew it, they broke it, they whatever. And you're picking it up for seven bucks or less. Like this boat was probably $6.99. And what I get out of it, to me, competes on the shelf as far as fun, imagination, storytelling, play, all that other stuff. When I get my studio going in my new place this summer, uh, all this stuff is going on display. It's not just sitting around. But I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not... I might have a contest for giving one of these vehicles away at some point, too. I don't know. Do you guys think this would be a good contest prize to give a vehicle away, just pick one at random and say, this is what we're drawing for tonight. You're going to win this. I might do that because uh, I'm not going to stop building, but Jesus, I will eventually stop having so much space. That barn was a really cool find today. I can't wait to paint that up and have that on the same property as that Joe uh, safe house that I'm building there. That's going to be a big display. That's going to be a six foot table. Uh, but that'll be where I display a lot of Joes in the new place as I turn an entire room into a studio, much like what the guys already have. Uh, so looking forward to that. Um, hey, don't forget, Friday night I will be on Legend Series Photography Talking Figs. Uh, I got interviewed by Tony last week. It's, uh, it's time for that to come to light. And I'm very excited to uh, just... Very honored, actually. Not not excited. I'm honored. You know, uh, I've said from the beginning this this channel was my project for keeping me happy and keeping me entertained, and nothing more. And nothing keeps me entertained better than talking about Joes, talking about toys, talking about pop culture, and talking to like-minded people. Um, for years, I was deprived of a, of a group such as this because I was in a military setting, working with military people, talking about military things, and very little time was allocated to personal interests, and very little of those personal interests were shared enough like this. So this community, this fellowship, this whatever you want to call it, it's just a word, any other word is just as sweet to describe us, uh, I, I find has fulfilled me a lot, and I want to thank you guys for that. You new subscribers, you old subscribers, I want to thank all of you very much for that, and more Moreover, I just want you to know that every day that goes by where I don't make a video uh, on presenting something new to help you pass time while you're taking a dump or you're driving to work and listening to me or you're doing something, every day that goes by, I feel those days. I feel like I'm not contributing the way I promised I would. So I am trying really hard, guys. I am one man and I am a, a man dealing with life issues right now. So if I'm slow to respond or if I don't respond and you've reached out, Please don't take that personally. I'd rather just not say anything than to dump a million dollar, million problems on someone's lap. I'd love to drop a million dollars, but uh, but at the same time, this is what I'm willing to drop on your lap. This is the better version of me, the happier version of me producing and making fun things like boats and joes, boats and joes. Gotta get me, oh, broke the panel. <laughs> Gotta get me more boats and joes. So, the, uh, the thing's upcoming. All right, I'll tell you a couple of names you can expect. You're going to expect a low light, you're going to expect a dial tone, and you're going to expect a budo. How's that? And that's not the vehicles. Those are just three of the figs I've got queued up. We're almost ready to present. Of course, uh, like I said, the, the Frank Castle Crimson Guard uh, Cobra set deluxe that I'm making for... Uh, for Cobra Crimson Command, uh, not Cobra Crimson Command, pardon me, uh, Grievance for the 350 prize that he won. This thing's getting a little bit bigger than I thought it would. It's definitely got a lot going on, and it'll be finished up after Joe Fest. I'll present all that, and then I'll mail that off to him. And then we're going to be going to the 500 prize soon, and we're almost at 400 right now, and I'm very happy about that. So, no race. You guys don't want to subscribe, don't subscribe. <laughs> But if you do, just know you're welcome here. It's awesome. I, I love having you guys here. And I will see you very soon for the reveal of uh, two more vehicles, at least. Possibly three and a bunch of figures. Very soon, guys. Take care. Bye.